Good morning, Bridge family. It's Pastor Jeff, and I wanted to come and share with you again the blessing that it is to know the witness that we have with God and with one another as the family of God. This time, I'd like to focus in on what is obvious but might often be overlooked, and that is that when we see that God promises to be with us as our refuge, our strength, and as our ever-present, our ever-present help in trouble, what he's saying there is that he is ever-present with in all of his children, all of the family of God. Now, think about that. What that means by implication is that we, the family of God, the body of Christ, the army of the Almighty, we have a unity, a oneness, a connection. Read John 17 in the prayer of our Lord, and what you will see is that we together have an ever-present oneness, an ever-present unity to the degree that we are in Christ and he is in us, we are, in a very real sense, in one another in the degree that we are in Christ, that we have the blessing of being the singular body of Christ. The oneness, the oneness of the church is the wonder of our Christ. I want to share with you just a, a quick reading of an exchange that I had through the night I was up in the middle of the night and had an exchange with our brother Jackson as he is in the West Nile region of Northwest Uganda on the border of the Congo, ministering to Ugandans, those from the Congo, even those from South Sudan. We were united and connected and I was so blessed to be reminded of what it is to have this withness with one another. I'll share with you that exchange and I pray help you to see just in a very real context again the blessing that it is to be in the refuge of Christ in him as our refuge with one another as his redeemed family of God. Listen to this exchange and I pray be blessed. Amen and amen. Jackson wrote saying, quote, Amen and amen for the good morning and great day that our God has given us. Greetings and love to you and your family. Thanks to God for the work that he has given you and me to do in this West Nile region of villages and in all of Uganda, South Sudan, and the Congo amongst men women, and children of this entire region. May God bless you so dearly in the name of Jesus Christ. For the work of the gospel planting, for the work of the gospel planting and discipleship ministry and mission that you have enabled me to do in the service of the kingdom of God. Thanks for your encouragement and prayers. Thanks for your support, both spiritual and physical. Really, it's my prayers for you that God may bless you and your family in all aspects of life, both spiritually and physically. Today is my last day for this discipleship mission trip here, and I am asking you to stand with me in prayers for the people that we will leave behind in this village. Let God do his will and his way and his work by his word. Let me read that again. Let God do, this is our prayer, let God do his will and his way and his work by his word. Thanks be to God and bless you, fellow pilgrim, in his grace and in his service of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Now my response to Jackson, on behalf of our entire Bridge family, I wrote, Amen, Titus. Amen. I have been stirred in the night once again, and I am up, now praying for you and the souls that the Lord is leading you to find and grow. 
our Bridge Family vision statement is, Find the lost, grow the found. That is what you are doing to the glory of God. It should also be known that our Bridge Family mission statement is also being lived out by you. Love God, love people, serve the world. Both our vision and mission statement are born out of our commitment and commission to Acts 1.8, John 20.21, 20, Ephesians 2, verse 1 through 10, Titus 2.15, Acts 2, 41 through 47, and Matthew 28, 18 through 20. Dear brother, you are being the church. You are being the church, the biblical church, capital C, and the Bridge Family Church. I am blessed to be with you. I am blessed to be with you, both vertically and horizontally. Much love and mission, missional prayers to you. Keep up the good fight. Stay in the refuge, strength, and ever-present help of our King and Christ, our Lord and our Savior, the risen Jesus. Amen and amen. See Psalms 46, verse 7 and 11. Friend, I pray that this exchange helps you to see once again the blessing that it is, the inspiration that we can be to one another as we share in the refuge that is Christ, both vertically and, and horizontally, all by God's grace and all for his glory. Amen and amen.